Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali. If you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. Today, I have for you guys my April favorite. So yeah, let's just stop being weird, Ali. Let's just get into it. <laughs> Okay, so my first actual April favorite is actually this powder that I hated so much at the beginning, and that is the f new, or the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Foundation. Now, for me and my skin type, I do have to make sure that I am moisturizing my skin, that my skin is hydrated, and then I set with a hydrating setting spray. And that's only because it is drying, but it doesn't make your skin look really pretty and flawless when applied right. I, I, I just naturally have lines over there, so that's never a big deal for me but and it's like 6 p.m. when I'm recording so I'm pretty tired but like yeah I really like the way it makes your skin look it looks great it makes it really does make your makeup last long I haven't tried this in any um flash photography or anything like that or anything like or anything like that so yeah but I really do like it I like the effect that it gives your skin and like I said if you have dry skin and you didn't like this but you still have it I would recommend try making sure that your face is hydrated i use it i use it over my l'oreal infallible fresh wear foundation or my bare minerals pure brightening serum foundation and it looks great over those two foundations and it's just mwah. Next, it was this, this was actually from my shop, my stash of April, but this is actually going to be the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. I have it on my lower lashes right now, and I really love it, and oh, this is just such a good mascara, and I don't know why I stopped using it, but we are back in action with this. And if you guys don't already know, my favorite concealer is a Catrice Liquid Liquid Camouflage conce Concealer. And mine is in the shade Light Beige. I do have more shades of this, actually. And I just recently picked up a backup. And now that I'm saying that, I think that I put this in last month's favorite. But I just love it so, so much. So yeah. One thing that I've come to love that I didn't think that I would actually end up loving is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This is what the packaging looks like. And this is just what the product looks like. And yeah, I really like it. Well, of course, nobody's face is going to look 100% poreless. But this is, does improve it a lot and this is actually a primer that i have to be careful with using with the candid foundation the candid powder because yeah it can make you look pretty pretty dry for brows i've actually fallen in love with this elf wow brow setting gel and it has a little brush like this and i have mine in the shade deep brown and i actually really love this like it really does stick it it feels like you added like a tad a tad of bits of hairspray and holds them in place without them being like pasted down and so I actually really do really really like this okay and the next thing I have is my Rimmel London black gel liner and this is just what the packaging looks like and what the product looks like and this is actually really creamy easy to work with easy to clean up if you do mess up if you catch it in time because it is waterproof and when it says it's waterproof it really is waterproof so I do actually recommend this and it's not that much money at all now another favorite that I have is actually this wet and wild lip gloss but I'm kind of sad because somehow my packaging got messed up so the little white part that is supposed to stay right here has actually popped off it's the stopper part and so without this in there I can push the white part down and it stays down but I actually really like this formula I like but yeah that's the only thing that's really making me sad right now is like I feel like it's wasting so much product because like like I said it broke and I don't really honestly don't even know how it broke like I don't see how it could have broke so um one thing two things that I've actually really liked I don't know if I mentioned this in last month but I meant to was my morphe sponge and then my elf sponge these are actually really really good now my morphe one it applies makeup oh my goodness like if you want your skin to look flawless try a morphe sponge sponge and the elf one is not bad either i really like this pointed part to get under my eyes and on the days that i do a wing like it's perfect and last but not least is niece least it's actually something that i don't like um is the nyx ultimate edit palette in the bright shade and it's just patchy dry blends away powdery some of the colors are better than others but i'm gonna keep playing with it but as of right now, I don't like it and I don't recommend it. Not even for the little $6 that it is. Because you're basically paying a dollar for each eyeshadow. 
and Makeup Revolution has palettes like this with more colors for $5 and their eyeshadow formula is amazing. Okay, you guys. So, another favorite. My favorite lashes for the month of April were actually these. Were actually this Kiss Lashes in the shade. In the shade. Why do I always say shade? In the style flirty. And so, those were amazing. I love them. They're so, so, so beautiful. And, yeah. They're easy to apply. The bland. The, the bland. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that means I need to stop recording now. The band isn't hard to work with. And yeah, so that's just something. Try their lashes. And they're cheaper than Ardell lashes. And I feel like they're better. They last longer. They're easier to apply. So if you're a beginner, I do recommend Kiss Lashes. And yeah. So I know most people's favorites are like super long, but April April wasn't a crazy month until the end. And then May is gonna be super crazy and then June. And so I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more. And I will see you guys in my next video. If you haven't, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, please. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.